Dave. So Derek and Dave Price have weighed in. Uh, can you just talk me through a little bit what you saw up there? Yeah, both man mountains. Both fighters know that they're heavyweights. You know, they've, uh, they've missed no meals. Let's put it that way. Both going to be fully hydrated, fully carved up. That's for damn sure. And uh, we're going to get explosions from the first from the first bell. You know, neither one of these fighters, um, I believe, this fight's going to become a boxing match. You know, Derek Chisora knows he can't out jab the six foot nine uh, David Price, the Olympic bronze medalist. He's a master boxer when he's allowed to box. Derek Chisora needs to drag David Price into a dogfight, into a, a tear up as soon as possible. The the moment that they both start engaging is the moment that Derek. Is, 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 is inside his, playing, his, his game plan. He needs to understand that, you know, it's not going to be nice. David Price punches very hard. His jab is, is, is thunderous. So um, Derek, me, Derek's mentally geared up to go through whatever he needs to go through to apply what he needs to. And that's just body shots, head shots, hooks, uppercuts. It's going to get down and dirty real quick. So um, you definitely got to tune in for this one. How do you feel about Derek saying he's willing to take shots to land? He's the, no, Derek, Derek Chisora isn't the, no, he's no Pernal Whitaker or Limachenko. He's not about, you know, slipping every single punch. He's about brute force. He's about making you fight his game. His game is trading. He doesn't mind taking one to land his one because he knows he's got a granite chin and he's got a hard punch. If it goes down to taking one to dish one, uh, Chisora is willing to do that. Is David Price, is David Price willing to take take one of Derek's overhand right as a land one of his, I don't think he's willing to. So I think Derek's willing to go to that dark place if needs be um, a lot sooner than, than David Price is. David Price is going to want to keep it at bay, keep it at arm's length and maybe catch Derek as he tries to come in. I understand that's a, that's a solid game plan from Price, but you know, Derek also has been working on his defense, his, uh, his punch evasion, making sure he's not walking onto unnecessary shots that could you know, buckle his legs or hurt him. So, they, so he, so, Chisora understands the dangers that David Price brings to the table, but also he, he has to get into that danger zone. You know, Chisora is a guy who doesn't mind tossing the coin, swinging, letting his hands go, because he knows if he can hit you with that one shot, he can really sap your strength and get you where he wants to get you, and that's in a dogfight and that's in a slugfest. Also on stage, they announced um, the WBO Intercontinental mm. belt's going to be on the line. Yeah. Can you just talk to me a little bit of what's at stake? Mm. And also, finally, you know, the, 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 the WBA um, Intercontinental belt will be at stake, which will give the winner of this fight a very good position in terms of fighting for the WBO title. The WBO title is currently held by Andrew Riz Jr., who challenges, obviously, or defends his title against Anthony Joshua on December 7th in Riyadh in um, Saudi Arabia. So it looks like the winner of that fight won't be, be holding that title. They'll be relinquishing it, which means Alexander Usyk will need a challenger to challenge for that vacant title. I'm hoping Derek Chisora wins tomorrow night and he's the man challenging for that vacant title against the number one mandatory Alexander Usyk. I believe that's a fantastic matchup for Derek. I believe the styles will work fantastically for the crowd. I think it'll be a huge fight and a fight I believe Derek Chisora has a very, very good chance of winning if he can, uh, if he can win tomorrow night and he can really buckle down and keep the momentum going in terms of training, making sure he becomes better and better and better in, in each and every fight. Finally, why should I tune into Sky Box Office tomorrow night? You need to tune into Sky Box Office uh, tomorrow night, Saturday night, because you're going to get an absolute cracker of a card. You know, not only have you got the big guns, the heavyweights, you know, going for it, who both promise to bring absolute fireworks. You've got the Progress Taylor, for me, an absolute you know, this, it doesn't get any better. You've got two of the very best in the world, arguably two of the best fighters. You can make an argument for why Taylor's the best, and you can make an argument for why Progress is the best, but we get to see exactly who number one is. You know, for the Ali Trophy, is for, you know, the Ring Magazine belts. Forget the World Championship belts, just the, the independent bodies believe this is the, num the number one and number two in there, so we find out officially who it is. Great undercard, a Coley, Ben, you know, Burns. There's so, there's so many great fights on this card, so I implore you to, Tune in for a great night of boxing.